Hello and welcome back to this channel. This video is for the subject cellular network. I have uploaded all the videos related to earlier five units. This is the last unit. So dear students, today's topic is network coding. First of all, from the exam point of view, you may expect the question like this. Define network coding and what list out the functions or what are the functions of network coding. As the name indicates, network coding is the coding technique. See, in very simplified language, there are two parts. One is transmitter, another is receiver. From the transmitter, we are supposed to transmit, we are supposed to send the information, we are, we are supposed to send the signal. Now, at the transmitter, certain coding is provided, then the data is transmitted through some channel. At the receiver, again, the decoding is provided in order to recover, in order to obtain the original data. So definition is the data to be, is to be uh, data to be transmitted is encoded. I mean encoded at the transmitter end and decoded, of course decoded at the receiver end, which increases network throughput. Means it increases network output, reduces delay, reduces the delay for the transmission and make the network robust. So. This is the definition of network coding. <clears throat> now, what are the functions of network coding? In case of network coding, as I mentioned in a very simplified language, you need to apply certain type of coding at the transmitter end, then send the data at the receiver end. You will get the coded information, again decode it so that end user can interpret that data. So fewer data packets are used to transmit more information because we are applying coding at the transmitter end. Then this upward arrow in indicates increasing value. So it increases immunity to the radio channel noise frequency fading and multipath spreading of transmitted signals. This concept of fading we have already discussed in the previous video. This is multipath spreading of transmitted signal. Means it provides immunity to the multipath spreading. Multi means many. Many paths are spreading when they are transmitted through the channel. This concept also we have discussed in earlier videos. So if you are applying network coding that it, it increases immunity to all such things. Then it decreases, downward arrow indicates uh, it is decreasing. It decre decreases the bit error and frame error. There are two types of major errors. One is bit error, another is frame error. Bit error means one particular bit is in the error. Frame error means a number of bits forms a frame. So entire frame can be in error. So this in uh, decreases bit error and frame error. Then in case of network coding, certain extra bits are used. These bits are called parity bits or check bits. So due to use of these bits, it is possible to detect as well as to correct some errors at the receiver end. Then since the error detection and correction is done is possible at the receiver end because we are using network coding. So it avoids retransmission of the data means see in the normal uh, circumstances, if there are errors and uh, a receiver do not send any acknowledgement signal, then transmitter has to resend the data again. But detection and correction is possible so retransmission of data is avoided rather reduced next due to sharing of resources resource uses can be improved that means many uh, resources can be shared simultaneously so usage can be improved next architectural level security because we are using the coding techniques so we are uh, providing architectural level security and it reduces latency. Latency is the time delay between transmitted and received data. So it reduces latency at in, and it increases reliability. So these are the functions done by the network coding. Next we will discuss what are the major types of network coding. So there are two major types of network coding. First is linear block code abbreviated as LBC. Second is convolution code. Now first linear block code LBC as the name, name indicates the coding is not applied to the entire data stream. Dekho, aise yaad hai. Pura data stream jay, usko bolte one message. So the coding is not applied to entire message rather the entire message or entire data stream is divided into number of smaller blocks. So the coding is applied to each block differently. 
So what we have written, coding is not applied to entire message, but different blocks are formed and each block is separately encoded. मतलब हर एक block को अलग अलग coding tech, coding apply किया है Next, convolution code, second type of coding. So in this case, it is opposite to that of linear block code. Here, the coding is applied to the entire data, but while transmitting the data, entire data stream is not transmitted at a stretch. Instead of that, the smaller packets of data stream are transmitted. Matlab, transmitter end mein coding pure data ko ek saath karenge aur transmit karte vak, channel ke through data transmit karte vak, will be sending different packets. So this is the case for convolution code. Now, uh, what are the applications of this network coding? So basically network coding, I mean, I have listed out few applications related to network coding where we have one source and many destinations. So few applications include messaging network, then wireless mesh network, then storage network and multicast uh, streaming network. Now let us discuss basic Hamming codes. This is the structure of basic Hamming codes. In this uh, structure, P represents parity bits. So P1, P2 and P4 are parity bits. These parity bits are inserted in between the data bits. This D7, D6, D5, D3 represents data bits. Ye position jay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, uh, 7 bit Hamming code is most popular, uh, which is used in many applications. Yahan pe 7th position pe jo hai, wo data bit hai, so it is represented by D6. 6th position pe bhi data bit hai, so D6. Then 5th position, again it is a data bit, so D5. 4th position pe, suppose hum logo ne parity bit use ke. So the notation is P4. Likewise, what I said, D represents data bits at corresponding position. P represents parity bits or check bits. Now, the value of this, let us talk about parity bit P1. The value of parity bit P1 can be adjusted to 0 or 1 to obtain the even parity. This parity bit is applicable or used to obtain the even parity for bit one, bits 1, 3, 5, 7. That is 1, 3, 5, 7. That means P1, D3, D5 and D6. As I said, P1 is adjusted either 0 or 1 to obtain the even parity. Then similarly, P2 is adjusted to uh, 0 or 1 to obtain the even parity for this combination 2, 3, 6, 7. So 2, 3, 6, 7. That means P2, D3, uh, D6 and D7. Again, as I said, P2 is adjusted to 0 or 1 so that this combination of bits will produce us even uh, parity. Same logic, P4 is adjusted to 0 or 1 for the bit combination 4, 5, 6, 7 in order to obtain the even parity. Now, in case of having uh, codes, certain extra bits are used. These are called Hamming bits. Now, these bits, extra bits, which we call it as Hamming bits, are added to the message block. Actually, message block contains its own bits plus, as I said, extra bits are the added that are called having bits. Now number of parity bits to be added depends on the length of the block. Minimum number of having bits that is denoted by n small n is 2 raised to n should be greater than or equal to m plus n plus 1 where m represents the number of bits. So this represents the minimum number of having bits that is uh, n and m represents total number of bits. So this is the basics of Hamming code. Now let us discuss some terminologies related to network coding. So these are some common terms. First is code word. Actually code word contains actual bits that, that is the information bit plus there are certain extra bits which are called redundant bits. So make it simple. In case of a code word, there will be n number of bits, small n represents number of bits in the code word, which is r plus k, where r represents redundant bits, as I, as I said, these are some extra bits, and k represents the information bits that, that are actual bits containing the information to be transmitted. So this is the code word. Next is constraint length. It is basically related to the number of shifts over which a single message bit can affect encoder output means if you go on shifting the single message bit and 
if it is affecting the output of encoder block then that is represented by constraint length next is the block length just now we discussed same thing so code word is represented by this equation and block length is represented by n which is addition of redundant bits and information bits next is having distance it is the distance between two code words and is the number of places where the code word differs for example for the explanation purposes i have shown two code words jaise dekho hum log alag alag coding techniques use karenge aur alag alag code words taiyar karenge let us say these are the two code words now observe these code words the first position in code word 1 is 1 the first bit in code word 2 is 0 ye different hai सेकेंड बीट इन कोडवर्ड वन ये कोडवर्ड वन है ये कोडवर्ड टू है सेकेंड बीट इन कोडवर्ड वन एंड कोडवर्ड टू इज सेम थर्ड बीट इज सेम फोर्थ बीट इज सेम दैट मीन्स हाउ मेनी टाइम्स देर इज अ डिफरेंस इन द बीट पोजिशन ओनली वन टाइम देर इज अ डिफरेंस सो दिस इज कॉल्ड द हैविंग डिस्टन्स सो द हैविंग डिस्टन्स बिटवीन दीज टू कोड वर्ड्स इज इक्वल्स टू वन this is the having distance now minimum distance as i said there can be n number of code words so go on measuring the having distance between uh, two consecutive code words find out the two code words which which shows minimum having distance it is called the mi minimum distance so these are the few uh, terminologies used in network coding so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video